Okay, so I've had a chance to work on some of these other ones. Um, this first one, that I let how you work on e to the x plus 2 minus 1, um, we basically, um, we've taken this graph, this graph right here, and we subtract 1 through it, so we're shifting it down. So that's why the, asymptote, the horizontal asymptote is now at negative 1. Okay. Um, and the, the inner, you can see that in this particular case, you'll see that the x intercept is at negative 2. It won't always be this easy to find it. Um, usually, time you'll need lo logs to do that, but in this case, negative 2 works. Um, the next one, 2 minus e to the x. We're doing a couple things here. We, we, we take the graph of minus e to the x, and we've, we've added, shifted it up 2 units. We're adding 2 to it. So that's why the asymptote is up here at, at 2. Okay. Um, and again, this, you, know, you can check that the y-intercept is going to be at 1. Uh, 5 plus 2 e to the x. Um, if we start with e to the x, multiply it by 2, that's a, that's a stretch. And um, in fact, it would be, um, then if we add 5 to it, we get, um, we will get, we shift everything up 5 units. So the uh, the y-intercept is actually at seven, um, but um, that's all we have to do here. And then into the, for this last one, one minus e to the minus x, we actually do three transformations. We first reflect through the y-axis, then we reflect through the x-axis, and then we shift it up one. So basically, we take this, we reflect it through the x-axis, maybe. And do that first, and then we reflect it through the y-axis, and then we shift it up, and that's how we get here. And again, you can see, again you should be able to see that every y has to be less than one because it's one minus a positive number. E to the minus x is going to be positive. It doesn't matter if we have an x or a minus x. E to this is always going to be positive. We subtract one minus a positive number. That's always going to be less than one. So the there's our horizontal asymptote.